Hi everyone, my name is Rashmi. Welcome to my channel, Keep Calm and Crochet. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this cute little bird. We're going to start off with the blue yarn. Let's grab hold of it and wrap it around your two fingers, making an X at the base. Turn them over, this is the side you're working with. Slip your hook under the first bit of yarn here and pull up a loop using the second. Keep it nice and loose so we can pick this bit of yarn from here and pull it through the loop that was already on our crochet hook. Tighten it and here is your magic ring. If you would like to use an alternative, you can chain two into a slip stitch and start working your round one into second chain from your hook. So to begin round one with magic ring, you're going to slip your hook inside, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through both. That's my first single crochet of this round. Going back into that same space, let's go ahead and work six single crochets all together. Here's third, fourth, fifth, and my sixth one. Once you have your six single crochets, you're going to pull on this bit of yarn to eliminate the gap between your stitches. Now we're going to start round two. We will be working in spiral, so we will be working on top of your previous round stitches. So slip your hook in the top part of your first single crochet of your previous round and work your first single crochet of round two. I'm going back into that same stitch to work another single crochet. Now two single crochets in the same stitch, it's called an increase. So each time I say increase, we're working two single crochets in the same stitch. So let's go ahead and work six increases here. So in the next stitch you will have second increase, here's my third increase, fourth increase, fifth increase and my final increase number six. Once you have your six increases this brings our stitch count to 12. Now round three let's go ahead and work a single crochet in our first stitch. Now from here I'm going to start using a stitch marker to identify the start of each of my rounds. And we're going to follow this single crochet on with an increase. So two single crochets in the same stitch. So here's your repeat for this round. One single crochet followed on with an increase, single crochet increase, repeat that all the way around to the end. At the end of this round, stitch count should be 18. Let's start our next round with a single crochet in our first stitch. Let's go ahead and put the stitch marker back in place. And we're going to follow this single crochet on with an increase. So two single crochets in the same stitch. And we're going to have one more single crochet in the next stitch. So here's your combination for this round. One single crochet, increase, one single crochet. One single crochet, increase, one single crochet. Go ahead and work that combination all the way to the end and meet me back here. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 24. Let's start the next round with three single crochets in a row. Here's my first, second and third. Stitch marker back in place. Follow this on with an increase. So two single crochets in the same stitch. And here's your combination for this round. Three single crochets, followed on with an increase, three single crochets increase all the way around. At the end of this round, stitch count is 30. Start the next round with two single crochets in a row. One, two, stitch mark back in place. Follow this on with an increase. And work two more single crochets in a row next to it. And there we go. Here's our combination for this round. Two single crochets 
and increase, two single crochets. Two single crochets, increase, two single crochets. Repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 36. Let's start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch. Stitch marker back in place. And we're going to follow the single crochet on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around. In total, you will work 36 single crochets in a row to finish this round. So go ahead and work that and meet me back here. At the end of one round of single crochet, your stitch count should still be 36. Now you'll notice that your work has started to curve a little bit and that's perfectly normal. Now let's start the next round. And in this one, you're going to work five single crochets in a row. Here's my first one. Let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place. Second. Third. Fourth. And fifth. We're going to follow this on with an increase. So two single crochets in the same stitch. And here is your repeat for this round. Five single crochets in a row, followed on with an increase, five single crochet, increase, repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 42. Let's start the next round. And in this, we are going to start off by working a single crochet in our first stitch. Stitch marker back in place. And we're going to follow this single crochet on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around and to finish one round you will have 42 single crochets in one row once you've done that you're going to follow the same method five times all together to have five rounds of just single crochet so go ahead work five rounds of just single crochets and then meet me back here at the end of five rounds of single crochet your stitch count is still 42 we're now going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch. Let's go ahead and put the stitch marker back in place. And we're going to follow this single crochet on with a decrease. To do this, you're going to slip your hook in the next stitch, pull up a loop, do the same with the stitch after that, pull up a loop. Three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three in one go. So here's my combination, one single crochet, followed on with a decrease. Again, to do this, you're going to pull up a loop from the next two stitches like this, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through, all three in one go. We're going to be working this combination five times. So we've done two times together. Let's do the third time, single crochet, followed on, with a decrease, fourth single crochet followed on with a decrease and here we go fifth single crochet followed on with a decrease. Now once you've repeated that combination five times you will have 27 stitches left and here we're going to work a single crochet in every one of these stitches all together so go ahead work 27 single crochets in a row to finish this round and meet me back here at the end of this round your stitch count should be 37. now we're going to finish off with this color and change it over to white to do this you're going to slip stitch in the next stitch like this let's go ahead and snip this yarn off it out and pull this down like this now I'm going to be attaching the new color so grab hold of it slip your hook back into the stitch where we have just worked our slip stitch and pull this new yarn through we're going to give this new yarn a little knot in place to secure it and let's move these tail ends out of the way and we're going to now start the next round from here to do this you're going to pull up a loop and chain one back into that same stitch to work our first single crochet of this round 
follow this on with a decrease so pull up a loop from the next two stitches three loops on your hook yarn over and pull through all three now we're going to be repeating this combination four times this time so that's my first combination one single crochet followed on with another decrease that's your second third time with the same combination one single crochet followed on with a decrease and the fourth and final time one single crochet followed on with a decrease and once we've worked this you should have 25 stitches left so here we are going to work 23 single crochets in a row and then follow that on with a decrease so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 and 23 you should have three two stitches left after this and we're going to work a decrease in that pull up a loop from each of these stitches three loops on your hook yarn over pull through all three in one go now that completes your round we're going to move on to the next round and we're going to continue working in spiral again this time starting our next round on top of our first single crochet of this round so Let's start with one single crochet. Let's put our stitch marker back in place and you're going to work six single crochets in a row, including this one. So that's my first one. Second. Third. Fourth. Fifth. And here's my sixth one. Follow this one with a decrease. So two sing and so pull up a loop from the next two stitches, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three in one go. And here's your combination for this round: six single crochets followed on with a decrease, six single crochets, a decrease, and repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 28. I'm going to start the next round with five single crochets in a row let's work our first single crochet and put our stitch marker back in place here's our second third fourth and fifth follow this on with a decrease so pull up a loop from the next two stitches three loops on your hook yarn over and pull through all three in one go and here's your combination for this round five single crochets followed on with a decrease five single crochets decrease repeat that all the way around at the end of this round your stitch count should be 24 you're now going to start the next round and in this round you're going to work three single crochets in a row here's my first second and third let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place follow this on with an increase so two single crochets in the same stitch and here's your repeat for this round two three single crochets followed on with an increase three single crochets increase repeat that all the way around at the end of this round your stitch count should be 30 we are going to start the next round with one single crochet in our first stitch stitch marker back in place 
follow this single crochet on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around to finish one round you will have 30 single crochets in a row once you've done that you're going to repeat the same process two more times to have three rounds of just single crochet so go ahead finish three rounds of just single crochet and fill this bird up with some fiber fill and meet me back here at the end of three rounds of single crochet your stitch count should still be 30 going to start the next round with three single crochets in a row there's my first second and third let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place and we're going to follow these three single crochet on with a decrease pull up a loop from the next two stitches three loops on your hook yarn over and pull through all three in one go and here's your combination for this round three single crochets followed on with a decrease three single crochets decrease repeat that all the way around at the end of this round your stitch count should be 24. let's start the next round with two single crochets in a row here's my first one let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place second and follow this on with a decrease so pull up a loop from the next two stitches yarn over and pull through all three loops in one go and here's your combination for this round two single crochets followed on with a decrease two single crochets decrease repeat that all the way around at the end of this round your stitch count should be 18. now before we continue the next round we're going to take a minute and insert some security eyes into the head of this birdie to be able to do this you're going to first of all get the side profile of this bird this is the front this is the side and you're going to squeeze the top part like this so we've got really pointy front front profile we're going to now insert this needle or the pin in the front so we know exactly where the middle of this face is there we are and we're going to be counting four rounds down we're going to be inserting the eyes between round three and four here's round one two three four so eyes going between those two rounds if this is the center of the face i'm going to count two stitches and insert the eye into the third stitch so here's one two and this is the third stitch where i'm going to be inserting the eye into and there we go do the same thing on the other side so that's the center of the face we are in this round here so between round three and four one two three so that's where we need to be so one two and in the third stitch we're going to insert the eye like this now before you go ahead and put the backing on we need to double check that both of the eyes are in the same round and to do this i would suggest for you to remove the pin and you're going to check that from the back basically so let's turn this inside out and check yes they both are in the same round i can now go ahead and put the stitch mark the the backing eye backing on and there we go the eyes are now on let's continue with the next round and in this round you're going to be working one single crochet and let's put our stitch marker back in place follow this on with a decrease so pull up a loop from the next two stitches three loops on your hook yarn over pull through all three in one go and here's your repeat for this round one single crochet followed on with a decrease single crochet decrease all the way around at the end of this round your stitch count should be 12. Now before we work our last and final round and close this gap up, go ahead and fill this head up with some more fibre fill and then we'll continue the last round. Now 
Now I've gone ahead and stuffed this head up with some fiberfill. Let's go ahead and work our last and final round. And for this, you're going to be working six decreases all in one row. So go ahead and work six decreases in a row to finish off with this head. Now onto the wings and for this we're going to start off with the pink yarn and work a slip stitch using whatever method you prefer. Let's go ahead and chain two. That's one and two. Skip the first chain and work six single crochets in the second chain from your hook. Here's my first single crochet. Second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. Once you have your six single crochets, you're going to put on this bit of yarn to eliminate the gap between your stitches. Now, start on round two, and we're going to work in spiral again. And for this, you're going to slip your hook into the first single crochet of your previous round like this and work an increase in there that's my first in, uh, single crochet and second single crochet in the same stitch so that's an increase let's go ahead and work six increases here's my second increase third increase fourth increase Fifth increase and final one increase number six once we've worked our two rounds we're going to work a slip stitch in the next stitch and change the color over to white so work a slip stitch like this and let's go ahead and snip our yarn off pull it out of the stitch and pull this up there we go now let's grab hold of our white yarn Slip your hook in any of the top part of it, these stitches and pull the new yarn through. Give it a little knot in place to secure it. Now from here, I'm going to slip my hook back into that same stitch, chain one, and going back into that very same stitch and I'm going to work my first single crochet of this round. Going to follow this on with another single crochet. And we're going to have an increase in the next stitch. So two single crochets in the same stitch. And here's your repeat for this round. Two single crochets in a row followed on with an increase. Two single crochets increase all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 16. We're now going to start the next round. And for this, let's go ahead and work our single crochet. Follow this on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around. To finish this round, you will have 16 single crochets in a row. So go ahead, work that and then meet me back here. At the end of this round of single crochets, your stitch count should still be 16. Now we're going to fasten off and finish off with this colour by working a slip stitch in our next stitch. Let's go ahead and snip this yarn off, pull it out of the stitch and pull it up to secure it in place. Now we're going to change the colour over to this lovely blue yarn and let's connect it on top part of any of these stitches again. Like this. Pull it through. Give it a little knot in place to secure it. And now slip your hook back into that same stitch chain one to begin this round going back into that same stitch to work our first single crochet from here we're going to work a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around and again you will have 16 single crochets in a row to finish one round you're going to repeat this process twice to have two rounds of just single crochet so go ahead work two rounds of just single crochet and then meet me back here at the end of two rounds of single crochet, your stitch count is still 16. We're now going to finish off with this color by working a slip stitch in the next stitch. Let's go ahead and snip our yarn and pull it out of the stitch. 
Now we're going to change the colour over to white. Grab hold of the new yarn and pull it through any one of the stitches here. Give it a little knot and let's start this round by working a chain one back into that same stitch to work our first single crochet. Follow this on with another single crochet in the next stitch. So you have two single crochets in a row. Follow this on with two decreases. So you have one decrease. To do this, you're going to pull up a loop from the next two stitches like this. Three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three. Let's work our second decrease. Slip your hook in the next stitch, pull up a loop. Stitch after that, pull up a loop, three loops on a hook, yarn over and pull through. All three again. Now you're going to work four single crochets next. One, two, three, and four. Follow this on with two more decreases. So pull up a loop from the next two stitches. Three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three. Let's go ahead and work another one of these. Pull up a loop from the next two stitches, three loops on a hook, yarn over, pull through all three. Now to finish this round, you should have two stitches left and you're going to work a single crochet in each of those. And there we go, this finishes our round and you should have a total of 12 stitches now. Now for the next round, we're going to again start working in spiral. So we're going to work our next stitches in the top part of our previous round's first single crochet. Let's start by working two single crochets. That's my first and second. Let's use a stitch marker to identify the start of this round. We're going to follow this on with one decrease. So pull up a loop from the next two stitches. Three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three. We're now going to work three, um, four single crochets. So here's my first second, third, and fourth, followed on with another decrease. So pull up a loop from the next two stitches, yarn over, pull through all three loops, and then let's do this last time, going to work two single crochets in the last two stitches. There we go, that's one and two. We're now going to finish off with this white colour as well. So let's go ahead and work a slip stitch in the next stitch over. So pull up a loop from there, make it go through the loop that was already on your hook. Go ahead and slip this colour, pull it through the stitch, pull it down. There we go. Now onto the next round, we are going to attach pink colour onto any of these stitches. So pull up a loop with this pink colour this time. So pull it through one of these stitches and give it a little knot in place. We're going to have one round of just single crochet. So slip your hook back in there in the same stitch, chain one, back again in the same stitch, work your first single crochet, follow this on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around. Go ahead and work that. Here's my second single crochet. Third. Fourth. Fifth. Sixth. Seventh. Eighth, ninth, and my tenth one. There you go. Once you have your ten single crochets, you're going to work your next round from the very first single crochet here. So slip your hook in the top part of this single crochet, and you're going to start by working three single crochets in a row. Here's my first stitch marker back in place. move this thread out of the way 
follow this on with two more here's my second and third we're now going to work a decrease in the next stitch so pull up a loop from the next two stitches three loops on your hook yarn over and pull through all three follow this on with three more single crochets one two and three you'll have two stitches left and we're going to work our final decrease in these stitches so pull up a loop from the next two stitches yarn over pull through all three loops to finish it off now last and final round we're going to work four decreases in that space let's go ahead and sniff slip this thread back in so that it's out of our way there you go so round 11 we're going to work four decreases so pull up a loop from the next two stitches three loops on your hook that's my first single uh, decrease second decrease third decrease and final one decrease number four pull up a loop from the next two stitches Make sure you're only going through one stitch to have cleaner, like neater finish. And there we go. Once we've finished our four decreases, you will notice there's a tiny little gap at the top left. So we're going to finish that off by working a slip stitch in the opposite stitch. Slip your hook in the opposite stitch, pull up a loop, and make this loop go through the loop that was already on your crochet hook. We're now going to leave a long tail longer than before anyways snip this off and pull this out of the stitch and pull this up and there we go this makes one wing we're going to follow the same instructions and make another one but before we finish off with this we're going to take our darning needle let's thread this bit of yarn into our darning needle and we're going to slip this back in the center of these stitches and allow it to go back into it and guide it to come out from another end of these stitches the this wing so once it's out you're going to snip this yarn off and your wing is finished go ahead follow the same instructions and make another one of these now onto the tail and for this let's grab hold of our pink yarn and work a slip knot. We're going to chain seven. Here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're now going to start round one and we're going to be working all the way around these stitches. To do this, you're going to skip the first chain here and work a single crochet in the second chain from your hook. Here's my first single crochet. You're going to have five single crochets all together in a row. Here's my second single crochet. Third single crochet. Fourth and fifth. In the next stitch there should be one left at the end we should work three single crochets in there in the same stitch here's my first second and third this will allow you to turn the corner and start working at the base of these stitches now here you're going to work four single crochets in a row so let's locate our stitches there we are so there's my first Second, third, and fourth. And in the end, you should have one stitch left. And we're going to work an increase in that. So two single crochets in the same stitch. 
is one and two, two. Now that completes our first round. From here, you're going to start the next round by working six single crochets in a row. I'm going to start using a stitch marker to identify the start of each of my rounds now. Slip your hook in the top part of your next round. Top part of the first single crochet of your previous round is my first single crochet of this round. Stitch marker in place to identify the start of my round. Going to work five more single crochets. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. Going to work an increase in the next stitch. So two single crochets in the same stitch. One and two. Follow this on with six single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and six. You should have one stitch left in the end. Here we go. And we're going to finish that off by working an increase in there. So two single crochets in there. Now starting the next round, but before we do that, we're going to change the color over to white. So let's slip stitch in the next stitch here. We're going to pull up a loop and make this loop go through the loop that was already on a hook. Snip this yarn off, pull it through the stitch and pull it down. Now I can attach the new yarn anywhere I like. So I'm going to do it Actually, I'm going to do it in the same stitch because this way our decreases are going to line up nice and neatly. So there we go. So here we are. It's... I'm going to give it a little knot in place. Now from here, you're going to pull up a loop and work chain one first back into that same stitch to work a single crochet. Now in the next stitch, we're going to work six single crochets so we've got one and we're going to work six more to make the total count to seven one two three four five six and seven we're going to be working an increase in the next stitch so two single crochets in the same stitch here we're going to follow this on with seven more single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven should be left with one stitch. And we're going to work an increase in there. Now, starting the next round, you're going to slip your hook in the top part of this stage, first single crochet of your previous round, and work your first single crochet of this round here. We're going to follow the single crochet on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around. To finish one round, you're going to have 18 single crochets. I'm going to use a stitch marker to identify the start of this round. So that's two single crochets. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, and here's my 18th one. Now we're going to snip this yarn off after working a slip stitch in the next stitch. So let's go ahead, slip stitch in the next stitch, like this, and snip this yarn off 
so that we can change the color over to blue again oops. again i am going to be attaching the new yarn into the same stitch if you prefer to change the color in a different way that's totally fine slip uh, stick with the method that you prefer i'm going to tie a knot in the same stitch with the new color now let's go ahead pull up a loop from there and work a chain one back into that same stitch to work my first single crochet you're going to follow that single crochet on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around we're going to complete two rounds just like this so go ahead work two rounds of single crochet and meet me back here at the end of two rounds of single crochet your stitch count should still be 18. let's slip stitch in the next stitch so that we can change the color over to white again this time pull it out and pull this up let's go ahead and attach the new color into the same stitch again as i mentioned earlier if you prefer to change the color in a different way then stick with whatever method you prefer here we go we're going to stick this color in the same stitch give it a little knot in place move the tail ends out of the way slip your hook back into that same stitch pull up a loop chain one to begin going back into that same stitch working our first single crochet now i'm going to be working seven single crochets in a row including this one so that's one two three four five six and seven here we go follow this on with a decrease so pull up a loop from the next two stitches three loops loops on your hook yarn over and pull through all three repeat the combination one more time one two three four five six seven and follow this on with a decrease pull up a loop from the next two stitches yarn over pull through all three in one go now we're going to work one whole round of just single crochets slip your hook in the next stitch work a single crochet in this stitch first let's put our stitch marker back in place because that's the start of this round i'm going to work a whole round of single crochets and in here you're going to have 16 single crochets all together to complete this round three number 16 let's work a slip stitch in the next stitch now we're going to change the color over to pink this time pull it out pull this down grab the new color and going to attach it on the same stitch Now we're going to work six single crochets in a row to do that let's slip the hook in the same stitch pull up a loop chain one to begin back into that same stitch to work our first single crochet in the next stitch we're going to work single crochet again we're going to have six of them all together one two three four five and six follow this on with a decrease so pull up a loop from the next two stitches three loops on your hook yarn over pull through all three in one go we're going to repeat the same combination one more time so six single crochets one two three 
four, five, and six. Followed on with a decrease in the last two stitches. So pull up a loop from the next two stitches. Three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three. I've missed that, so I'm going to do it again. There we go. Once you've done that, this completes your round. I'm going to move on to the next round here. And in this round, again, starting to work in spiral. So starting on top of your first single crochet of your previous round to work up first single crochet of this round. That's my first single crochet here. Put our stitch marker back in place. I'm going to have five single crochets in a row this time. So that's my first, second, third, fourth, fifth, followed on with a decrease. So pull up a loop from the next two stitches and pull through all three. Repeat that one more time. One, two, three, four, five, and a decrease. There we go. Now in the next stitch, we're going to start the next round. And in here, so after this round, you should have a total of 12 stitches. So starting the next round, and in the next stitch, you're going to work a single crochet. Put the stitch marker back in place. And we're going to work four single crochets in a row. So that's my first, second, third, fourth, and follow this on with a decrease. Pull up a loop from the next two stitches and pull through all three. Repeat that one more time. One, two, three, four, and final decrease of this round. There we go. Once we've done this, this will bring our stitch count to 10. Now, from here, you're going to gently stuff this um, tail up with some fiber fill. So let's go ahead and do that. And then meet me back here. I've now gently stuffed this tail up with some fiber fill. And we're going to now finish this tail off by working a few stitches across the top to close this gap. To do this, you're going to make sure that the seven single crochets at the bottom or the seven chain is laying flat like this and flatten the rest of the tail alongside. So this is straight in the middle and not going like this. Not across this way, but we're going to flatten it across this way. There you go. And once you've done this, we are now going to look at the top of these stitches. So we've finished with a decrease in the last round. And I can see that this has finished right in the middle. I'm going to make this go in the corner here of the this side. So I'm going to work two single crochets. Here's one and here's my second one. Now this allows my stitches to finish in the corner very nice and neatly. Now I can turn it around and work five single crochets on across the top. To do this, you're going to slip your hook in the next stitch like this and guide it to come out from the stitch at the back as well. So slip it through the back. So if I pull these stitches apart, you will see that I've gone through the front and the back of these stitches. Pull up a loop, pull through both. That's my first single crochet. Let's do that again. Slip your hook in the next stitch and the next stitch at the back as well. Pull up a loop from both sides, pull through both. That's my second. Here's my third. My fourth and final stitch number five. And once you've worked your five single crochets across the top, you're going to chain one. Let's leave a long tail and snip this yarn off. Pull it out of this stitch and pull this 
up so that secures it in place and there we go that completes the tail of this bird onto the beak now and let's start in just the same way as we have done for everything else which is slip knot chain tail one two and now from here for round one you're going to work three single crochets in the first stitch here which is the second chain from your hook now slip your hook in there pull up a loop work your first single crochet second single crochet and here's my third one once you have your three single crochets pull on this bit of yarn to eliminate the gap and now i'm going to work three increases for the next round so slip your hook in the first single crochet of your previous round and there we go i'm going to work an increase in there so pull up a loop yarn over pull through both loops that's my first single crochet is the second one so that's my first increase let's work our second increase that's the second increase here and my third increase is right here now this should bring your stitch count to six and now we're going to work one round of just single crochets so starting off with our first single crochet, here we go, that's my one single crochet, two, three, four, five, and six. Once you have your six single crochets and finish this round, you're going to slip stitch in the next stitch over. So pull up a loop, make this loop go through the loop that was already on your hook. I'm going to leave a long tail and snip this yarn off. Pull it out and pull this down. Now I'm going to very carefully turn this the right way around so that the this little bit is on the inside. So turn it around and here is this little tiny beak of our bird there we go i can go ahead and snip this little bit off or i could just stiff this in the center so i'm going to curl this up and slip this in the center and push it in and there we go now we are ready for the assembly now on to the assembly and we're going to start off with the tail. Let's grab hold of the body and the tail and thread your darning needle with this little bit of yarn that's coming out of your stitches. Now here we are going to be stitching the tail at, in, between round 11 and 12. So first thing you need to do is squish the body this way like this. So it's quite narrow to start off. Now let's go ahead and count the rounds from the bottom. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we need to be stitching the tail between these stitches. Now the reason why we squished this bird really tightly like this so was so that we can line this up, the tail, the top part of the tail with the head. So it needs to be in the centre. There we go. Once you've lined it up in the middle in relation to the head like this, then you're going to stitch this in one stitch at a time. So catching one stitch on the body like this. Going back in that same stitch just so the connection is quite nice and firm and secure. Here we go. Moving on to the next stitch. And now we're going to start going through the stitches on the tail as well like this. And making our way across. Each time I go through a stitch, I'll make sure that I go through it twice so that the connection between the two components is really nice and strong. And just like this, make your way across.
each time going through it twice now I'm here with my last stitch and here I'm going to catch the last stitch from the other side and stitch the corner in again doing this twice to make the link nice and secure and once we've done that and we're happy with the positioning and stitching of this bird's tail we're going to slip this needle in the top part of these stitches turn it upside the, the turn the tail up and guide the needle to come out at the base of this tail now from here turning this tail up while holding it in place we are going to create a loop here so catch one stitch or even half a or just a little thread somewhere so I've done that here there we go once you've done that you're going to create a loop here like this make the needle go through the loop this will create a knot in place and will fasten your and secure your thread and fasten it off now once you've done this you're going to slip your needle into the body guide it to go through some fiber fill and come out from another side of the body and there we go once it's come out we're going to snip this yarn off even if it, you can see the yarn you can give it a squeeze and that will disappear now there we go the tail of this bird is on onto the wings now and let's grab hold of the wings we're going to position them and i'd suggest for you to use these pins to secure it in place before we stitch them because both of the wings need to match so here we go we, when we're positioning them we are going to aim for halfway point between uh, this line so this line is going to be halfway point between the wings so if i show you the pink part this blue line is right in the middle of it and that's the positioning of this wing from the top and the pointy bit is going to be in an angle like this so we're going to slip a pin in place now that's secured in place i'm going to turn it to the other side grab hold of the other wing i'm going to position that in here as well so making sure that the pink part this blue line here is halfway between it like this let's turn this backwards and make sure that they are um, symmetrical from both sides and there we go now this looks perfect to me i'm going to go ahead and put some pins in this place as well Now this is secure in place i'm going to just double check that i'm happy with the positioning there we go so the blue line is matching with this back part of the blue line so that's it and in the front this blue line is in between the pink area here so make sure that they are symmetrical yes they look perfect from all angles now we can go ahead and thread our darning needle with some pink yarn and we're going to stitch the front on so the wing will still be able to move but we're stitching just the front part all the way across following the natural curve onto the body so go ahead stitch the both of the wings on and then meet me back here wings are now on and this is what the bird looks like at the moment now onto the beak and for this you're going to position the beak directly in the middle of the eyes so i would say around below so this is the round we've got eyes in and this is the round where we're going to stitch the beak on so go ahead and do that and meet me back here beak is now on as well let's go ahead and get rid of this little bit of yarn that's coming out from the head so to do this you're going to simply thread this into a darning needle slip it at the base of the same stitch where it's coming out from guide it to go through some fiber fill and come out from another side of the body let's go ahead and snip this give the body a little squeeze and so that everything goes into the right position and there we go here is our bird and it's all finished now you can always add a little accessory on the head if you like or a bow or anything like that there 
If you enjoyed making this little birdie with me, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.